Sir Daryl Radio. Experience is the goal. A radio experience with Daryl. Let the show begin. Let's go. Sir Daryl. Radio, radio, radio experience. What's up, everybody? This is Sir Daryl. Welcome to After the Radio Experience for, what is it, Thursday, January, not January, Thursday, July 31st, 2008. I should remember that because Complete, our hip-hop correspondent, today is his birthday. So happy birthday, sir. Um, today on the uh, Sir Daryl Radio Experience, today was kind of cool. Um, we dealt with a bunch of things. We dealt with elderly pornography. I did a story about... A guy in Japan who is making a killing. He's an old man, an old ass man. And you got to see this dude. There's nothing about him that's even remotely young. He's just an old dude who's making a killing at porn. His porn is just selling off, off, of, the, off of the shelves. So I called a, um, an adult video store, I believe in Atlanta, to ask them um, about that industry. And and I told them that I'm going to start shooting some elderly porn at some of the local senior citizens building and if they would be interested in buying them. And she gave me some pretty good advice. You might want to check that out at SirDaryl.com. Also, I trolled a few radio shows. Um, I, I got on the air of a radio show today, and we spoke about creating viruses. I think that the show that I got on, they were there to talk about how to not get a virus but I called them asking how to put viruses on. It was, and what type? I don't know. I don't think they were exactly enamored with me, but we'll, we'll, we'll you be the judge of that at SirDaryl.com. Also, I, I played the Ludacris song. There's this Ludacris song that's out right now in reference to Barack Obama and what's going on with that whole campaign. Barack Obama then has to distance himself from Ludacris as any politician would. No real politician can be associated with Ludacris and expect to win. They may love him. They may play him in their iPod, but they're probably not going to stand on stage with him as he sings, move, bitch, get out the way. That's just a thought. Um, probably the most eventful portion of today's show had to do with Pastor Manning. If you're not familiar with Pastor Manning, he is the, uh, the head of the Adela Church in New York. I find this man amazing. He's extremely uh, amusing. He's provided me hours of laughter. He hates Barack Obama with a passion that I've never, ever seen before. Ever. And he doesn't just hate Barack. He even hates his wife. I was playing some of the clips from that on my show today. Um, here, listen. Listen to, listen to some of the rantings of this lunatic. This man is off the chain. So... <laughs> He, it doesn't stop at, at, at Barack. He, his wife is a, oh, Michelle Jezebel Obama. Wow. Uh, and so when we talk about his wife, Michelle, who I call Jezebel, one of the more wicked women in the Bible, one of the more wicked women in the world. Michelle Obama is Jezebel, perhaps one of the more wicked women in the world, and came out the other day uh, on that television program The View with that dress with all her shoulders and her chest showing with a big self. And you know <laughs> with her big self. Did he say did he say with her big self? <laughs> he said she came out there with her big self. On that television program The View with that dress with all her shoulders and her chest showing with a big self. And you know, people I hear these white folk talking about, isn't she a beautiful woman? Listen, you want to see a beautiful black woman, go get a picture of Lena Horne. Get a picture of Felicia Rashad. Uh, get a picture of Halle Berry. Uh, or get a picture of Elizabeth Sarah Manning if you want to see a beautiful black woman. Michelle That's his white looks people. like King Kong's baby sister. That woman's not beautiful. I mean, she's... Oh my God, this is... I, I, I cannot, for people who don't know, this guy, I cannot. All right, so he went on to say that if she were in a beauty contest with, um, um, what is her name? Whoopi Goldberg, that Whoopi would come out on the winning end of that, which is to imply that Whoopi is gross and disgusting. Uh, and if you really want to see a beautiful woman, look at his wife. So I called the Adela Church having no idea that I was about to talk to Mrs. Manning herself. Hello? Hi, ma'am. How hello? are you? Hi. Can you? Hello? 
Yes, I can hear you. How are you doing? Um, I'm okay. Um, I'm a little nervous because I've never called before, uh, but I'm okay. How are you? Good, thank you. Good, good. Um, so now, mm-hmm. I'm in Chicago. Yeah, I'm in Chicago, uh-huh. and I wanted to know, um, you know, I've been watching Pastor Manning's videos on YouTube more and more, and I'll be honest, mm-hmm. I'm getting a little afraid. Um not of, not of him, but really I'm, I'm beginning to see Barack Obama a little bit more clearly now because of some of the things that I've heard the pastor say. And I guess I wanted to, I guess the underlining portion of my call is I want to know how I can help support. But I also want to know, you know, like what danger I'm in from being so close to the guy. I literally live almost in his neighborhood. And I don't, I'm a little unclear from the videos that I've seen as to whether or how, just how evil he actually is, you know. So I don't know whether or not I'm in any danger by literally being so close to him. I guess maybe since I'm not so, I have, don't have such a religious past, I don't know so much about the power of evil, if that makes any sense. So, you know, is this dude the Antichrist or is he not the Antichrist? She held my hand. She walked me through it. She let me know what I need to do in order to make sure that I did not possess the evil of this man. Check the whole thing out on today's episode over at SirDaryl.com. Head on over there and check that out. Also, you know, gas prices are lowering. And there's a group that has been praying for lower gas prices. And they're claiming responsibility for this. They say, because of their prayer, prices finally have dropped to under $4 a gallon. I say that there are other people that are just as affected by the lower gas prices. They're losing money. They're having stock issues. They're losing money left and right when the gas prices go down. So I called the 700 Club, and I asked them to help me pray for higher gas prices. An amazing thing. Thank you for calling 700 Club. This is Sally. How may I help you? How you doing, Sally? My name is Daryl, and I was calling for the prayer request. I'm wondering, do you guys uh, accept prayer requests for financial uh, things, or is that, you know, like kind of vain? No, we, you know, pray about anything that you need. All right. Well, I have um, lost probably a quarter of a million dollars over the last couple of months. Um, as gas prices start to fall, I'm in a unique situation than most. Um, I have actual contracts with the oil industry as well as stocks. Um, and this is killing me. And as unorthodox as it sounds, I actually would like to pray for higher gas prices if that's possible. Want to know if it's possible? Let me just tell you this. 700 Club Woman, religious as hell, get thoroughly offended by my request thoroughly upset by my request whatever what happened what happened to the needs of all people what about my needs what about the fact that I am calling requesting to be praying for gas prices to go up you think she would just go ahead and say if that's what you need sir let's pray that it hits six dollars a gallon let's pray that it hits ten you think that was her reaction I'll tell you this it wasn't but if you want to hear it head on over right now to sirdaryl.com Catch us live every single day. No, that's not true. Weekdays. Or at least live Monday through Thursday. I guess as it goes on, I just continue to change it. Monday through Thursday, live at 11 a.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Central, 9 a.m. Mountain, 8 a.m. Pacific. Then replayed on the all-digital radio network at 3 and what? And, And 8. 3 and 8. Eastern. It's replayed on the All Digital Radio Network at alldigitalradio.com. But again, at sirdaryl.com, it's 24 hours a day, seven days a week. All right? So get on over there and um, make sure that you hear the Sir Daryl Radio Experience. The Sir Daryl Radio Experience. Experience is the goal. A radio experience with Daryl. Let the show begin. Let's go.